Have you ever wondered how a small city-state on the banks of the Tiber River grew to dominate the entire Mediterranean world? Imagine a civilization that started with myths of twin brothers raised by a she-wolf and evolved into one of the most powerful empires in history. This is the story of Rome, its birth, its republic, and its relentless ambition. Join me as we uncover the secrets behind Rome's rise to power, its epic battles, and the remarkable legacy it left behind. From legendary founders to world-changing wars, this is a journey you don't want to miss. Let's dive into the captivating history of ancient Rome. Stay tuned as we explore the incredible story of Rome's foundation, the birth of the Republic, epic Punic Wars, and the dramatic end that set the stage for the rise of an empire. Ready to journey back in time? Let's go. One of the most fascinating and influential civilizations in history, ancient Rome. From a small city-state to one of the greatest empires the world has ever seen, Rome's journey is filled with incredible stories of conquest, political intrigue, and cultural achievement. Let's embark on this historic journey and uncover the secrets of Rome's rise and fall. Our story begins in the 8th century BCE, the legendary tale of Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf. According to legend, Romulus would go on to found the city of Rome in 753 BCE. But what is fact and what is fiction? While the myth is captivating, archaeological evidence points to a more mundane origin, a small settlement on the Palatine Hill that gradually expanded. Rome's strategic location along the Tiber River made it a prime spot for trade and agriculture. The early Romans were influenced by their neighbors, the Etruscans, who introduced advanced building techniques and a form of governance that would shape Roman politics for centuries. The Etruscans played a crucial role in the early development of Rome. They introduced the Romans to the arch in construction, their gods, and even the toga. The Etruscan kings ruled Rome for over a century, but eventually the Romans overthrew their monarchy and established a republic, a significant turning point in Roman history. Another key influence was the Greek colonies in southern Italy, known as Magna Graecia. They brought their culture, art, and even political ideas, which the Romans adopted and adapted. The blending of these cultures created a unique Roman identity. Rome's early political structure was a blend of monarchy and aristocracy, with the Senate playing a crucial advisory role. This body of elders, mainly from patrician families, would later become the cornerstone of Roman governance during the Republic. By the late 6th century BCE, the Roman kingdom was overthrown and the Roman Republic was born. This new form of government was revolutionary. Power was now in the hands of elected officials and representative assemblies rather than a monarchy. Republic was marked by a complex system of checks and balances, including the Senate, consuls, and the popular assemblies. But the Republic was far from perfect. It was a time of social struggles, particularly between the patricians, the elite, and the plebeians, common people. Conflict of the orders eventually led to more rights for the plebeians, including the creation of the Tribune of the Plebs, who could veto unjust laws. During this period, Rome also began expanding its territory through military conquest. The Roman legions, renowned for their discipline and innovative tactics, played a key role in these expansions. Rome's early conquests included neighboring territories in Italy, such as the Latin League and the Etruscans. Each victory brought new wealth and slaves to Rome, further fueling its growth. The Republic's structure allowed for flexibility and adaptation, which were crucial in managing an expanding empire. Rome's conquests were not just military but also cultural, as they integrated diverse peoples and ideas into Roman society. This melting pot of cultures contributed to the rich tapestry of Roman life. Political landscape of the Republic was dominated by powerful families who often competed for control. This rivalry sometimes led to violent conflicts, such as the struggle between the factions led by Gaius Marius and Lucius Cornelius Sulla, which highlighted the Republic's underlying instability. One of the most significant reforms during the Republic was the establishment of the Roman legal system, which laid the foundation for Western legal tradition. The Law of the Twelve Tables, created in 450 BCE, was Rome's first code of law and ensured that all citizens had access to legal protection. 
As Rome's power grew, so did its ambitions. This brought it into conflict with another powerful civilization, Carthage. Punic Wars were a series of three brutal conflicts fought between 264 and 146 BCE. These wars were pivotal in shaping the future of Rome and the Mediterranean world. The First Punic War started over control of Sicily and ended with Rome's victory in the creation of its first overseas province. This war showcased Rome's naval innovation, where they quickly built a powerful fleet and adapted land warfare techniques for sea battles, such as the use of the Corvus boarding device. But it was the Second Punic War that is most famous, featuring the Carthaginian general Hannibal, who led his army, including war elephants, across the Alps to invade Italy. Hannibal's campaign was a military marvel, filled with daring tactics and brilliant maneuvers. He inflicted devastating defeats on the Romans at battles like Cannae, where his smaller force encircled and annihilated a much larger Roman army. Despite Hannibal's early successes, Rome's resilience and strategic brilliance under generals like Scipio Africanus eventually led to Carthage's defeat. Scipio's daring invasion of North Africa forced Hannibal to return home, culminating in the decisive Battle of Zama in 22 BCE where Scipio defeated Hannibal and ended the war. The Third Punic War was less dramatic, but equally significant. It was essentially a Roman punitive expedition against a weakened Carthage. After a brutal siege, Rome destroyed Carthage in 146 BCE, raising the city and enslaving its population. This war marked the complete dominance of Rome over the Western Mediterranean and set the stage for further expansions. The end of the Punic Wars marked a turning point for Rome. With Carthage out of the picture, Rome became the undisputed power in the Mediterranean. This period saw Rome expand its territories, bringing immense wealth but also new challenges. The influx of wealth led to social and economic changes, including a widening gap between the rich and the poor, and the rise of powerful military leaders. Rome's expansion also brought it into contact with the Hellenistic world, leading to the incorporation of Greek culture into Roman life. This Hellenization enriched Roman art, literature, and philosophy. However, it also introduced new political and military challenges as Rome became entangled in the affairs of the Eastern Mediterranean. The Republic was now on a path that would eventually lead to internal strife and civil wars. Concentration of power in the hands of a few, the growing influence of the military, and the pressures of managing a vast empire set the stage for the end of the Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. But this is only the beginning of Rome's story. What happens when a Republic was born out of the ashes of monarchy faces the ultimate test of power and ambition? How does a small city-state transform into an empire that changes the course of history? In our next episode, we'll explore the fall of the Republic and the rise of the mighty Roman Empire. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.